Hey what's up YouTubers my name is Tanmay Sakpal and I'm back with another video tutorial for simple snippets on the topic of boolean algebra and logic gates and in this video tutorial we'll be discussing the concept of octal to binary encoder now if you've been following this entire playlist of boolean algebra and logic gates up until now we've discussed quite a lot on encoders and decoders in fact we've discussed what basic encoders and decoders are and we saw the different types of encoders that is priority encoder and decimal to bcd encoder in the previous couple of video tutorials so if you have missed that video you can check it out in this playlist itself and I'll drop a card which points to this entire playlist and you can see all the different subjects or topics that we've covered in this playlist. Also, if you are new on this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel because you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video tutorial on this topic or any information technology or computer science oriented topic. Okay, so now that you've subscribed to this channel, let's start off with this video tutorial. So in this video tutorial, we'll discuss what octal to binary encoder does. And in fact, as the name suggests, it converts an octal number to a binary number. That's what encoders do. They transform one format to another format, but we'll see exactly how this goes and in fact what we are going to do is we are going to draw the entire circuit diagram of the octal to binary encoder in practical so that you exactly understand how the working goes so this is a very important question and until and unless you actually don't implement it practically and see the circuit diagram it's not very clear how it works behind the scenes okay so as you can see on the screen we have eight inputs since the input is going to be in octal format so we have eight inputs d0 through d7 and these inputs represent the octal numbers so from 0 to 7 remember we have 0 to 7 only in octal number system now i also have covered extensively octal number system and the conversion from octal to binary octal to decimal in a separate video tutorial series itself so that entire playlist i'll put in the description and you can also see a card wherein we've just discussed about the number systems and the conversions so if you have any doubts or if you don't know how to convert between the different number systems you, you can check that playlist later on and i'll just put the link okay so coming back to this topic in octal number system we have 0 through 7 numbers and then we have the corresponding binary output to each octal number so 0 in octal is represented as triple 0 in binary in this case the reason why we are using 3 is because the highest octal digit that is 7 can be represented using 3 binary numbers or 3 binary digits that is triple 1 in this case so if you apply positional weight that is 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1 and so on you'll get the 7 number back. Now if you don't know how to convert a octal number to a binary number in simple terms say for example the octal number is 7 we just represent by its 3 digit binary equivalent which is triple 1 in this case you can see in this table but say for example the number is a 2 digit or 3 digit number let's say it is 1, 2, 3 in octal so what we do in that case is we take each digit so 3 then we take 2 and then we take 1 over here and then separately represent each digit with its 3 bit binary code so 3 is represented as 0 triple 1 2 is represented as 0 1 0 and 1 is represented as 0 0 1 and then club that result to get the final octal answer to get that binary answer so this is how we make the conversion okay similarly when we convert it back we just make groups of 3 starting from right to left and then get its equal equivalent octal number okay so that's the basic crux of the conversion of course i've talked about it in detail in that video that I just said you can go check out later so now we are just concerned in how it works inside this box diagram so this is the basic block diagram of a octal to binary encoder you can see so we have eight inputs and we have three outputs so there is some circuitry going on that is there are some logic gates inside this block diagram which get us this output for this corresponding input and what these input lines represent is the individual numbers in the octal system so d0 when it becomes high it means that the input is 0 in octal and the output is supposed to be triple zero and at that time the rest of the values are going to be zero so at a time only one of this line is going to be high and it is representing each of the octal number corresponding octal number so d3 so or d7 over here represents the octal number 7 and when it goes high all the numbers are supposed to be one so there must be some logic gates inside that makes this happen right so let's see how to actually formulate that output and what we'll do is we'll first represent each of these output expressions b0 b1 and b2 and then we'll draw the circuit diagram over here okay so in order to do that let me just first write down b0 the first output expression so for b0 what we're going to do is we're going to take this column entire and we're going to find out wherever the value is 1 so this is 1 over here over here and over here and then we'll see the corresponding inputs for that case so b0 is 1 when d1 is there d3 is there and d5 is there so let's just write it down d1 or d3 or d5 and the reason why we're taking or is because it is a sum of product kind of case wherein we are just looking at the output being 1 so when we are looking Looking at output being one, we are taking sum of products kind of situation, and we've discussed what is SOP and POS in this entire playlist. Also, you can check it out if you don't know. So this is for B zero. Let's see 
for B1 now. So for B1, you can see the output is 1 at D2, D3 and D6, D7. So just write it down D2 plus D3 plus D6 plus D7. And when I'm saying plus, I mean an OR operation between them. And lastly, we have B2. So for B2, you can see the last four inputs are high. So D4 plus D5 plus D6 plus D7. Okay, so we've got the expressions now. Now let's move on to the circuit diagrams. So these are the only things that we need for drawing the circuit diagrams. Let me just first draw the input lines. So we have eight input lines. So let me just write or draw eight input lines over here. Okay, so I have drawn the eight input lines. Let's just name them starting from D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7. Okay, so these are the input lines. Now let's see the expression B0 is given by D1 or D3 or D5. So let's just draw the output lines and let's draw the circuit line. So for D1, we know this is that line. Okay, so for D3, we know this is the line. And lastly, we have D5. So this is that line and we have an OR operation in all these three. So let's just draw an OR gate over here. So this is the OR gate one, which gives us B0, which is this expression. So that would give us D1 plus D3 plus D5. Okay, let's move on to B1. We have D2, D3, D6, D7. So starting from D2. Then we have D3, we have D6 and we have D7. Again an OR operation in between all of these. So this is OR number 2 which gives us B1 which is going to be D2 plus D3 plus D6 plus D7. Okay, moving on to the last output expression that is for B2. We have D4, D5, D6 and D7 starting from D4, D5, D6 and D7. Again an OR operation between the four. So this is the last one which gives us B3 which is which gives us B2 sorry which is equal to D4 plus D5 plus D6 plus D7. So yeah this is the circuit diagram for an octal to binary encoder. Now this might sound a little bit complicated but once you have the output expressions you can easily draw the input lines and then draw out the necessary lines depending upon the each of the expression pretty simple right so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the concept of octal to binary encoder what it does we saw the block diagram we saw its truth table and then we also derived the expressions that is the output expressions and using those we actually saw the circuit diagram also so that covers the entire octal to binary encoder so i hope you like this video and if you like it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel peace